All right. Welcome in, everybody, to uh, episode number two. This is the second live stream that we have ever done uh, like this. But today's live stream, it's a very special one. We're talking all about home slot machine ownership. And uh, we have our special guest, uh, Chris Day, who is the owner of Slot Machines Unlimited, which is the nation's largest and most trusted retailer of personal slot machines. I myself have used them. I know we've got a lot of people that have used them. Uh, and they have so many different um, home slot machines that you guys can pick from and choose from that are available. And our show today is all about answering your questions about owning a slot machine for the house. So, Chris, welcome to the show. Appreciate having you here. Yeah, thanks for having me again. Uh, last last show went great. We had great turnout, great results. Um, hopefully, we can keep giving some insight. Hopefully, we can answer some questions. Hopefully, there's any problems. We can do our best to uh, take care of them. Those are always the ones. I bought a machine seven years ago, and then the light bulb's out. Like, So maybe we can uh, you know, get everything going for them again. All right. Well, I, I know we already have uh, quite a few people in here, and we've got some, mm -hmm. uh, got some questions already uh, lining up. Uh, let's see. We have uh, Just, uh, Just Have Fun uh, says, I'd love to get a machine, but scared of any maintenance issues I might have especially as far away as I am glad to have the second show. Uh, let us know where you're, uh, where you're from, but most issues when it comes to, when it comes to slot machines in the home, of course, they are going to require basic maintenance from, you know, time to time, depending on how they're treated, especially if they're plugged in stuff like that. Like if you unplug it and you leave it in the garage for a long time, then yeah, there's probably going to be more issues, but, um, having them set up and run, uh, they're, they're pretty easy to maintain. Most stuff can be pretty basic, but, uh, let us know, uh, let us know where you're, uh, where you're from here. Uh, looks like Oregon. Uh, there, there's quite a few people. I mean, Oregon is a, is a big place. There's quite a few people yeah. out there that I'm sure could help you out if you had issues with your, if you had issues with your machine. The, the main thing with the home use machines is we understand that if we're going to sell you something, we're located out of Ohio. We do have a very, very small operation out of Havasu. Um, I'm a small business. So if you have a problem in Oregon, I can't send somebody to your house. Uh, so the only machines that we really sell for home use is something that over the phone we can help you. Uh, our techs can help you figure out how to what's going on, if we have to send you parts. Uh, we've been doing that side of the business for uh, 20 years. And I would say 99% of the time we get it fixed or we have a solution. There's that one or two times a year and we sell a lot of games that it's, we, there's, we figure something out if we can't get it. Uh, that's never, obviously that's never what we want, but there's not a lot of maintenance to them. Get them in and if you're and leave them alone <laughs> is, yeah. is the main thing. Leave them plugged in. Um, you know, it's usually when you first get the machine, there might be a small issue just because, you know, from let's say from Ohio to Oregon and travel 3000 miles or whatever. Uh, it's in a semi truck. Things get moved around. But for your guys uh beneficiary and, and, and mine as well, we're going to send you guys videos. So you're going to see the machine working um, that way, you know, it, you know, it worked before it left in case there is an is an issue. And again, you know, with dealing with the public. If it was that big of a headache, we wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it, especially at the stage that we're at, you know, with our business now, I would just exit out. Um, but, but it's a great, great, great add on. We've met a lot of great people. I mean, this wouldn't even be possible without, without home sales. We wouldn't even be where we're at without home sales. We're really, you know, the, uh, one of the only, we're really probably the only company that does it at, at scale, like I said before. Um, but, but hopefully that kind of, Put you at ease as far as, as the maintenance part goes. You don't have to real. You don't really have to know what you're doing, but if you do have a problem, be reasonable. Be be somewhat patient with us. We're not going to leave you stranded. I'm not in business to take your money. It doesn't. It, it does me no good. I don't need it. Uh, I don't need to do anything like that. So we'll always we'll always do our best to you know make it right if there ever is an issue. Absolutely, well said. And uh, Jan, uh, Jan says, uh, can't decide on which slot to get. Maybe one day I will get one. You know, they're uh, one of the big benefits. And this is one thing that um, I've always loved about Slot Machines Unlimited. They have a massive warehouse and a massive selection of machines, all different kinds available from classic games to even some newer games that are out there. Uh, they've got them available. But when you're looking to pick a slot machine for your house, um, you know, there's a bunch of things to consider. Uh, you know, I always say pick one that has meaning to you. Uh, maybe you've went to the casino and you won like the biggest jackpot. Like, let's say you go to the casino and you win the biggest jackpot of your life on a 
double diamond machine. And maybe you want to get a double diamond machine for your house. And that way you always have that conversation starter and you always have that memory. And then you have a story to tell along with it. So stuff like that is what I kind of consider when, uh, when looking for a slot machine and all those, all those things is pick something, uh, pick something with meaning and pick something that you're going to really enjoy for, uh, for a long, for a long time. We get that a lot and we get that a lot too. You know, Hey, I, I won my first jackpot on a sizzling seven. I won my first pa- jackpot on double diamond or game King or, or, or whatever. I mean, it has some sentimental value to them. And, and the other thing with the older slots, like you and I had kind of discussed in the last show, they're going to hold their value. Mm-hmm. If not, they're going to go up in value. I'm not saying that this is some sort of retirement plan, but it's not really as though, well, I'm going to spend X amount of dollars and I'm in, it, it, you know, it's like any other a car. It's, it's nothing. It's, I don't believe it's like anything like that. Um, I, I'm not, again, not saying go, go buy 50 of them and put them in your house and, and, and that's your retirement one day. Uh, that'd be fine with me if you wanted to do that, but <laughs> you know, um, especially the old, older slots, they're getting harder and harder and harder and they still sell and sell and sell because people understand them one thing that's the main thing people i I understand them i don't understand the new ones (laughs) right (laughs) i mean i if i really 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 tried to understand i guess i should but like i i don't i don't need to know any of that stuff really per se you know how they how they how all the lines go but a lot of people don't understand the lines unless they're obsessed with that game or you know really 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 want to play that game so hopefully that helps uh you decide on on what you're wanting to buy absolutely hey speaking of speaking of machines we got a couple people in here that are uh looking for some are uh any buffalo machines are available i think that you do have some we have a lot uh, of buffalo uh, machines yep. yeah a we lot have, of buffalo machines yeah we have a lot of uh your basic buffalo machines are gonna run anywhere from 2000s usually our cheapest and then our mid-grade is around three and then we have some higher end buffaloes that are eight thousand ten thousand dollars typically we don't sell those to home home ownership but some people will buy them um, the, in the, in the art cabinet, which many people probably aren't going to know what that is, but we could show you what that, uh, oh, Craig's on motorsports. Sold him Johnny cash guy. Uh, anyways, um, I forget what I was going to say now. What was I talking about? Buffaloes. The art Buffaloes. cabinet. The art cabinet is, is something <laughs> was, if somebody was really interested in it, it's the one with the big curve that you guys see in the casinos. Okay. It's the one. Now there's a double arc that's got the double monitor. I'm not selling that for your house. Yeah, that, it, 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 it wouldn't even fit in my house. I don't no, know. <laughs> it, it, we sold four of them to a casino in Canada. It literally takes three people to put that second monitor on. Yeah, yeah. but you do have Buffalo machines that are mm-hmm. are available that would be good for home use. Yeah, we sell and, a lot. That's, um, that's the most popular aristocrat machine. And we do have. Uh, I'm going to put the uh, the phone number up on the screen so you can text or call this number. Uh, so if you are looking for a Buffalo machine or if there's really any machine that you're looking for, you can always text this number or give them a call um, and see if they have it in stock, what the price is and stuff. And also not only that, but uh, mention this live stream because you're actually going to save money on your order just by mentioning uh, mentioning Cowboy Slots and mentioning this live stream. So, yes, Buffaloes are in stock um, and you can you can get them. You can order them, uh, order them now. And uh, we do have another one, uh, somebody looking for African Treasure Deluxe made by Konami. I think I don't that's know if an you... older real slot. If you guys I give me a recall. second, I'm gonna look. I think it's a, there, there's so many machines, obviously. What is it called again? So I'm Google. I'm not on the live stream. Uh, right Af- African Treasure Deluxe by Konami. I think it's an old Advantage 3. Give me one second. Okay, yeah, it's a, it's what's called an advantage three machine. No, uh, what is that? What is that machine called? I've had them before. I've had the type of cabinet that it goes in. Um, I I don't I don't I can save your information if we get one in. I can contact you. Um, but but that's probably Brian. That's probably a eighteen to twenty year old machine. Um, what? Is- it's not an advantage three it's something else i I forget it's advantage plus what it's called so three reels with a little lcd screen on the side Hmm. all right well (laughs) speaking of uh speaking of um uh, i know we we mentioned average cost earlier 
uh, Rosemary is wondering what the average cost of an older style single, uh, I, I assume sing, uh, single line real machine would be um, like a S3000 or S, S3000, S2000. <laughs> your, your, your typical, you know, three real single line, five line machine, they usually run around 1195 for a Sizzling 7, Double Diamond, your Cherry machines. They're all the same, right? It's just the game kit that you can change in and out. Um, your deluxe games. Um, if it's kind of a not so popular title, we'll, we'll work with you on it to, to make you happy. But typically between a thousand to twelve hundred dollars, give or take. If okay. it's a rare game, you know, like a wild thing or monsters or a, you know, Phantom of the Opera, um, some of the theme stuff, we'll, we will charge more because you don't see it. Right. Um, hey, speaking of um, speaking of something else, uh, we do have also the the deal of the day so to speak, for the deal of the show, which is the Blade multi-game. Uh, and you're even tossing in shipping and taxes on this mm -hmm. one. Um, so I guess for people out there that might not be familiar with the, the Blade multi-game, do you want to uh, explain a little bit about it? Yeah, so we actually, the Blade multi-game is a Williams Bluebird 3 cabinet. If you're not familiar with what that is, it's something that you would see, uh, you know, like your Super Jackpot Party. It's a machine that's newer than that. Um, and you can, in the multi-game, there's two different types of software we can offer for you guys. There's a set that has six. That's got the Elvis. Uh, it's got the Monopoly train. It's got beer house and two other games. I don't have them all memorized. Um, so it's got six sets of software. And then there's another set of software that we can do that has 14 games on it. Mm -hmm. Um, now that has some, yeah, that has some different games on there. Like your goldfish. Uh, it's got some quick hits on there. Uh, little red. And we could post some pictures if people are people are interested, but it's just it's just it's the same cabinet, but you just change the software around uh, in it. So we would we would be open to offering either either sets of those software with that machine. Typically in the Blade cabinet, which again is a newer Williams machine, which they're typically at this point they're probably ten to twelve years old, which seems probably really old, but it's it's not really that old for the use use business. It's probably average at this point. Um, so, so yeah, there's two sets of software. We can, you know, if you are interested, we can show you what those look like. Uh, you just ask us. We have photos. I don't have any to, to, to put on here or whatnot. But, um, but yeah, it's a, it's a great deal. We've got a lot of blades in stock right now. We've got like 70 or 80 blades. Um, it's, it's a pretty bulletproof machine. Pretty easy to work on if there's any issues. We've got plenty of parts. So um, I, I don't think there'll be any. And, and, and again, they'll be set up for free play. So you press service button twice, boom, and adds credits to your machine. You don't have to worry about bills. You don't have to worry about it work, printing out tickets. You don't have to worry about the bill accepted not not working. So it's 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 uh, less machines or less machines, less parts on the machines to have an issue. With. True, and including shipping is is incredible on that too. That's a good. That's a good it deal. depends. Yeah, like I said that's I want to move deal. them. I, I want to I want to move them. Just be you know because they they continue to come in on bid lists that we get. Um, and that was a hot machine for us from like 21 to 23. So I bought a lot of them and then market changed. So, yeah. Oh, let's see. Hey, uh, Kevin says he bought a Game King multi game a couple of years ago. The only thing he's needed is uh, where to buy an e key for the machine for programming um, and replace the card for the bill validator. Um, I, I don't know. I know that uh, I just saw on Facebook you, you started a parts group. Mm -hmm. um a parts group as well so yeah uh, i don't know if if that would be a good uh a good facebook page to you to could ask the, the the problem is is that we we, we sell a lot of games and e keys are difficult to get yeah um so i have to have them in stock i don't care about selling it because i need to have yeah. it in case one of my customers has a problem with their machine i've got to get it out to them um, and, and, you know, the other downfall is they're expensive. They're three or $400 and I only usually get half of them back. So it's a fine line of, do I, do I say I'm gonna put a hole in your credit card and you're going to, and you just bought a machine and now you're going to be pissed at to put a, car, a hold on your credit card and get the issue fixed. So, you know, half the time I get them back. So it's a, it's a win, it's a win loss situation. If you're looking to mess around with the machine on your own, to be honest, I would just go on eBay. They are on eBay. They're yeah. probably $400, $500 on eBay. For me, it's not a good thing to, to sell because I can't just I can't just go get them. You know, yeah. when, I, when I buy them, some, when I buy them, somebody's got eight or ten, and I've got to buy I got to buy you know the lots. So I spent three or four thousand dollars on on e keys, and it's money you just never see back. Even if I made a hundred bucks on it, it's just it's money you never see. Feel like you never get back. So, plus 
plus sometimes when people buy EQs, they're calling us for help. And I don't want to, yeah. I don't, I'm just being honest, you know, so yeah. we, don't want, we don't want that. If you need a, a card for the bill validator, the little green card, uh, we do have those. So you can, con you can contact us. Um, slot machines unlimited phone number. There's Avery. Uh, he's, he's our, he's our retail sales guy. He's doing a great, great, great job. 19 years old. He's doing a hell of a job for a 19 year old kid. Uh, he, he's kicking, kicking the ass sometimes, but he's doing a really, really good job. So proud of him. Um, <laughs> That's awesome. but, but, um, but yeah, like I said, we should have that green, uh, green card for your machine. I forget what the actual terminology name is that for that MER com board. That's what it is. So, um, hopefully that answers your question. And uh, just for uh, just having fun, uh, wants to know what's the difference between a free play install on a machine versus Tito. Um, does it have a? Uh, it doesn't have an insert. You want to kind of uh, break down and explain what the difference is with the? Yes, yeah, so I guess the, the easiest. There, there's a lot of different variations in those Tito boards. Um, I'm not sure how if you're that familiar with them, Brantley or not the the Tito boards, but yeah. Um, it's an aftermarket product. Uh, we've and, and it's a great add-on. So the difference is basically the free play. You hit the service button twice, and it adds however we set it up: hundred credits to your machine, thousand credits, whatever it may be. There's no bills. There's no tickets. The Tito is you put a hundred dollar bills in the machine, you press cash out, it spits out a ticket, fifty bucks, whatever, and then you can take the ticket and you can actually put it back in the machine, like at the casino. So well, what do you mean? Don't they already do that? No, they don't. Because what happens is, is these machines are hit, hooked up to a system at the casino to be able to read the call, to be able to read your player tracking and the tickets. So, for example, if I got machines from MGM Grand and I sat at my place and I started printing tickets out, I could just I could just fly to MGM Grand and have and I'd be a billionaire, <laughs> right? So they disable all that stuff, so none of it is I don't know counts. I guess I don't know the right word. So, um, but yeah. Hopefully that answers that question. Joe, All I'm right. trying to get you that ring quest, man. I apologize. I, I know you want it. Um, it's I got to get somebody to drive down there. We're having issues with our truck. And, and I do want to do the trade. I'm trading a ring quest for a triple cheeseburger. The problem is he's about eight hours away and I don't want to pay the shipping and either does he. And I don't yeah. have time to run. I don't have time to run to Kentucky to meet him. <laughs> so that that's where we stand. Go ahead. All right. Um, what about uh, what about any China shores? Do you have, we do have soft, we software? Have China, we do. We have plenty of China shores. Plenty of China shores. So plenty there, we'll of put, China shores. We'll put the phone number up on the screen. So if you if you're out there, you're wanting some China shores. Uh, they have them. They have them in stock and ready to go. Uh, oh, here's here's kind of a tough one. Dancing drums. Not available. Yeah. Just leave it at that. Not available. Uh, shipping average cost of shipping. I think we got this question last time, uh, too. Uh, it, I mean, obviously it's going to vary. Correct. Um, it's going to vary from place to place, but, uh, average ish. It depends. I mean, obviously I can sit here and say it depends. I would say average from Ohio two fifty. but again, if you're in the West coast, you're talking four fifty. Yeah. So, it, you know, but, but if it's a machine we have at our Havasu location, we would ship it from Havasu. So we have a, we have a smaller location uh, in Havasu that we use as kind of a uh, small, small, small retail shop and to consolidate our loads that we get. Uh, Cause we, we tear a lot of machines down, believe it or not. And I don't want to ship them all the way back to Ohio. So um, if, if it's something on the West coast and we have it typically a Bluebird one, Bluebird two widescreen, a blade, uh, we'll, we'll try our best, a G20s. We'll try our best to, uh, you know, ship it out of Havasu. So, okay. out of, so yeah, I mean, it, again, it just depends. I would say on average 250 to 300. It depends how many machines you get. So the more machines you get, the less per machine, you get. excuse me, uh, shipping is. True. Um, Kevin Deal, um, one of our, one of our members here, uh, he enjoys the, the four machine. He's bought four machines from you, mm -hmm. which is awesome. Uh, he's looking for the Viridian software. Um, who do, uh, who does Kevin contact? He could just, he, I think he's got some, he's got to have some of our contacts somewhere. So whatever game he's looking for, we can, we can uh, possibly accommodate. We're not big into selling software, um, but if it's a game that we have a lot of or something then we will, but we're, we've never, we've never really been one to really sit there and sell a lot of software because the problem with that is, 
is, you know, some Viridian software is not that expensive, 100 bucks, 150 bucks. But what if somebody wants to buy a Wicked Winnings from me, right? And I only have one set of software and I sell that software for $150. Well, guess what? If they want, if I, it, I just cost myself $2,800 because I can't put it in a widescreen cabinet. Right. Because I sold that software. So that's why we've never really, it's the same with like Bluebird One Glass, which we're kind of changing that now because we don't sell as many Bluebird Ones. But back in the day, people get pissed at you. Why won't you sell me your Super Jackpot Party Glass for $70? Well, because I can't put it in a machine. <laughs> yeah. and, and, you know, it's a popular game. So I'm not going to sell it for 70 bucks when I'm going to get, you know, back then twelve, fifteen hundred dollars $1,500 out of a Bluebird One. So, but it, it just, again, it just depends. If we got a couple butterfly kisses or something, I, you know, yeah, uh, I don't think I've ever sold that machine. So if you want to buy the software for that, but you're on your own, and you buy. <laughs> I don't want to hear about it. I don't want. I'm, I'm not putting a tech on the on the phone with you or any of that stuff. So, all right, there, there you go, Kevin. I hope that helps to answer your question there. Uh, CSX has a question about double top dollar. How much does double now top dollar and pinball? Of course, everybody, everybody loves the top dollar and pinball. Um, obviously, they're going to be a little more pricey because they are in high demand. Um, but about what does a double top dollar go for? The double for top dollars. More, more, more. Um, I've been getting 4,500 for them. Um, I'm going to be real honest with you guys. I think they're going to go up. Yeah. I mean, when I get them, they're even that they're, they're gone. I love, and I, lo I love that machine. <laughs> I, I do. I love that machine as well. Pinballs. People think I'm nuts for 10 grand. I get it. I get it. Uh, they People sell. love that machine. Now, I'm going to show you this on my phone. I'm kind of bragging right now, but Brantley, you might appreciate this. Is it the. If you, it's a double top dollar deluxe. Oh, yeah. The top dollar deluxe. Yeah. So I got that in a load from MGM Grand, and I got the triple top, top dollar. I've never had those in my life. Oh, so, I, I know Mark really wants the triple top dollar. I know, but well, he's probably not going to like me if he asked me the price. So I'm not, we're not yeah. even going to um, I don't know if I'm going to sell them. I actually might put them in my house. I love top dollar, uh, but I'm probably going to ask 10 grand for them. Yeah. I, I, somebody's going to buy it. So prices are, prices are definitely going up on, they are on, on the, and, and that's pinball. another, you know, that's a, a same with the pinballs. Uh, I think, you know, we went over this last time. I just, I, I sold them to somebody that sold them to Circa. Circa will, I mean, a casino, I think spent 20 grand on a pinball. I think I, I think I just, I didn't have to touch the machine. I think I sold it for eight or $10,000. I didn't have to touch it. Didn't touch it. He, they redid the whole refurb and they had the license to sell to the casinos. I mean, 20 grand at Circa, they probably make it back and they put it in their high limit. They make it back in a day, oh, you yeah. know? So, so, you know, that's why they're just so expensive. And I get asked every day for those machines. And of course, Wheel of Fortune, which, you know, we can't get, so. And uh, Gina says she lives only an hour away from your location. Is uh, uh, I know that you guys offer uh, local pickup as well. Correct. Uh, correct. Yep. yep. So there you uh, go, Gina. All we would need, Gina, if you're an hour away, then you've got two options. Um, if you know what you want, let us know because we have to get it ready. They're not just sitting there ready to go, typically. We do have a showroom, but chances of you wanting the exact machine that's in our showroom are pretty slim. Or if you're an hour away, you want to come and see what we have, see our place, just come up place your order, put a deposit down, give us about a week. We'll get it ready for you. Perfect. And uh, Hey, we got a little testimony here. Joe says best slot machine retailer have purchased yep. four IGT games from them. He's Triple the bar press guy. Plus, plus, plus. He's the bar crest king. Bar crest king. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, here's a, here's a question Paul has about the, about the blade. Uh, multi-game uh says sounds like a great deal but he's moving in a couple of months uh is it like moving a refrigerator or more difficult i i would say it's honestly probably more difficult because it's well i mean i don't know refrigerator uh, i don't know i disagree I, with I you don't know. And that's yeah, not even well, a sales that's not even a sales pitch yeah i know well no i'm a refrigerator is a lot bigger but weight wise i well it would depend if you're moving it up or downstairs or or what you're doing i'm, uh, I'm moving a blade help. i'm moving a blade all day long over a fridge man Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, now we got some game gamescapes in it. They're 800 pounds. No, you, know what that, yeah. you know what machine that is? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're, we had to forklift them around our warehouse. They're, they're, they're nuts. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's difficult. You're going to need a dolly or, I mean, you can, you can like, you can move it, right. You can walk with it, but you can't pick it up or you're going to have to have somebody help you pick it up and move it. If you're going to yeah. the basement. <laughs> 
And uh, Chrissy, uh, Chrissy says, um, is the is asking is is the Havasu location? Uh, people can can people visit the Havasu location? You you can now again. Our Havasu location is geared more toward consolidation. Uh, of so we've got you know a five thousand square foot warehouse where we have machines there. Um, we do a lot of you know selling parts to casinos. So th the goal of the Havasu warehouse was not really just like a showroom for walk ins. It was to break down machines, and we again again sell a lot of parts to the to the California and, and Nevada casinos, so we can get to the those parts of the casinos faster than from Ohio. More than welcome to stop in Havasu. They do have some a few machines ready to go, but but again, if you're not that far from there, or an hour, you know what you want. It's something that they could have ready for you if we have it in stock there. We don't have the selection there that we do um, uh, in Ohio. Okay. Carolyn's asking about uh, an old Royal Reels. I don't know. I have if, no idea what that is. Yeah. <laughs> no, old no, Royal no. Reels. I don't I'd know. Have, what I'd have to. I'd have to look that one up myself. I'd have to look that one up. Um, oh, we got a Canadian uh, viewer in here. Canuck. Uh, do you do you ship and sell to Canada? Every day. Every Not day. every day. Every week. <laughs> every week. So yes, the answer is yes. You can. Uh, you can buy uh, buy a machine for for Canada and have it sent up there. Oh, this 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 one. You know what? It's funny. We were talking about this next question in a recent live stream, and I'm curious mm. if you uh, know much about it. Mm. Uh, will you be bidding on the machines from the Tropicana? I cannot let it. I can't let my secrets out yet. There we go. <laughs> And uh, hey, Fred, Fred, another testimonial here. Love these guys traveled yeah. two states and got two machines from Chris. Thank you very Time much. Time for, for a third, Fred. It's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> and hey, you know, again, we've got that, uh, got the blade, uh, the blade deal. Um, and uh, share the, the blade deal is only for, uh, is only for this show. Uh, so it's a special, uh, special just for this show. Right, Chris? Correct. Now, uh, was it share? I don't have the actual on my website. I don't have that set of software on there. Um, so if you want text that number and Avery can send you some pictures and we, he should have some videos. Um, he should have some videos as well of, of those machines. So you can see him play. Okay. Um, oh, this is, this is a different question here. Chris is wanting to know how you got into the business uh actually so here's what happened is i'll make this as fast as i can but i'll try and give this best detail my dad started with somebody in the business in the early 90s my dad left that person in the late 90s and went on his own and he bought the little japanese machines i'm not sure if you got anyone's familiar with those little patch of slow machines with the three buttons um took a chance did very well so after about five years mid-2000s he got into the big machines the s pluses I got out of college in 09. I didn't want to work for my dad. I delivered pizza. I sold cell phones. And then one day we just both looked at each other and he's like, you want to fucking do this or not? Sorry. I'm just, that's how it was. Like, you want to try it? Like, cause we, we butted heads a lot. And I started as a cleaner. Uh, hmm. And then I started on as a, as a S plus tech and that didn't last very long. <laughs> I don't, I don't have very, I don't have those skills. And then, it, and then it went from there. So I, I went full time uh, almost 14 years ago. So nice. that's, that's how I got the business and I love it. I love what I do. That's a great story. Yeah. And, uh, we got another testimonial here from Henry. Uh, he says he buys parts from you in California. Henry's the man. Yeah. Um, know, Henry. <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, no, you're, you're good. You're good. Lot, lot of, a uh, lot of, uh, previous customers here, mm -hmm. uh, in the live stream, which is awesome. Really, uh, really good to see. And again, guys too, um, you know, if you guys are interested in uh, purchasing a slot machine for your house, I know I have many, uh, I've done business with slot machines unlimited, uh, many times in the past. They're wonderful to work with. Uh, we'll put the number up on the screen there. So be sure you can text it. You can call it, um, with, if you're looking for a particular game, uh, or if you're interested in the blade deal, be sure to text that number. Uh, and again, uh, they could send you some photos or some videos, uh, of that game up and going and kind of talk a little bit more about it. So, uh, be sure to, um, be sure to give that number a text, give them a call. If you're looking give for a text or call a particular, and particular machine, Avery just posted on our Facebook. So if you just are on our Facebook page, slot machines unlimited, um, he just posted the pictures of the machines so you can go on there and see them. 
Nice. And uh, Sam says, if I buy a slot machine for the house, uh, which I get a key for and I get a hand pay, does that count as my first jackpot? Well, I mean, you could. You could consider it your first jackpot, I guess. But uh, it's more fun to hit it in a casino, obviously, because you've got the you're getting the money back. But of course. It's cool. who, it's who knows, how much, you, who it knows how much you spent, though, right? It's all you know, I, I tell you, one of the one of the fun things um, about having slot machines in the home. And I know we, we had gotten a question about this earlier in the show. Uh, can't can't find it now but uh, one of the cool things about owning slot machines in the home is a it's a great hobby to get into Uh, Mm -hmm. if you're looking for a new hobby i mean people have all kinds of hobbies uh, out there and this is just another hobby and it's really really a lot of fun Uh, but also you learn a lot Uh, you learn you learn a lot about the games you learn a lot about the machines you find yourself wanting to work on it more wanting to do more things Um, but also it makes game nights a lot of fun like if you have family over if you have friends over it's just a ton of fun it's it's always a conversation starter not many people have slot machines so it's really cool to they just look cool in the if you have a basement they just again this i'm not even just trying to sell it it's they just look cool i don't know how to like myself i i just moved and i want to put some in my basement the wife's like why do you need to be around them every day i was like i just like the look of them you know it's just when i go to vegas or casino i just like the the you know that smell that's in a night a nice Vegas casino. I don't yeah. know if not a, a just, nice Vegas like casino. Nice <laughs> yeah. Vegas casino. I just like the ambience of it. You know yeah. the the um. You don't even have to sit there and play. It's not. You don't have to sit there and play it all day or anything like that. It's just. I don't know. There's just something nostalgic to to it to a degree, in my opinion. Oh yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent agree with that. Um, I know we got a uh, we got a question here. What kind of an out, outlet do you need? They all take a standard standard <laughs> plug. Uh, mm-hmm. standard plug. So nothing, nothing special. Um, they really don't use that much electricity or anything like that. Um, you definitely mm-hmm. want to leave them on and running, but no, they just use a standard power plug, but always recommended to get a good surge protector though. Mm-hmm. Any with any machine, always get a good surge protector. <coughs> and, uh, Scott's wondering, um, uh, I don't think you have any coin operated slots, but I'm not sure. Uh, do you have any coin operators? Don't mess slots? with it anymore. Yeah, it's honestly, and I know we touched on this in the last show, but um, I know we got a, new people in here, and mm-hmm. uh, you know we're broadcasting this out on Facebook as well. Um, the coin operated slots are really they're a pain to deal and with. They ask. Yeah, they yeah, they they're a pain to deal with. I would not recommend uh, not recommend a coin operated slot machine, not for home use. Not for home no. use. Actually, what we're doing now, with a, to be honest, with a lot of our coin stuff, if you guys have been to Vegas and you go to Slots of Fun, which is right next to Circus Circus, all those coin machines is what I provided to them. So I'd much rather use that as bait because nobody has that that stuff. So yeah. we've been saving the coin handling, and it's it, and that's gone up in value, right? Because where are you going to get coin handling for them? Yeah. And let me tell you, when I went to Slots of Fun on a Tuesday at like one or two o'clock it was packed packed you know you know what a universal slot is do you know mm-hmm. uh apparently the old yeah. from like the eight ladies yeah the really the old 90s. one i mean packed every machine and there's probably 200 machines everyone was packed five they had five dollar tokens ten dollar token machines top dollars and sizzle and sevens and it was packed it was insane to see because i never thought i'd see it again but they're, yeah. they just they just ordered another 15 games for it for, oh wow <laughs> yeah I think I haven't been, I haven't been there yet. I wasn't able to go. Um, I had to go down to Vegas for a little bit, but I wasn't able to go in. Um, did they have a uh, coin operated pinball there? I uh, did not see. No, I don't think so. Cause they had, they had a coin operated $5 top dollar. So I got, tw- I put 20 bucks in it. Cause I just, I just want to play it. Yeah. Um, obviously lost. And then, but it was like, it was weird. Cause it, I forget what happened when you, I think that, yeah, the coins dropped when you, yeah, coins drop when you uh, when you hit. Yeah, it, it's it's crazy cool. Yeah. I mean, n- no nobody denies that the coin slots are really really cool and they're really really fun. But they're, they're not, owning, I won't even sell. I owning even them in the it. home, yeah, yeah, owning them in the home is is a whole nother ball game because it's it, they're it's very ass. involved. Yeah, very involved. And um, you know, again, we'll we'll pop this up on the screen because we got this awesome deal uh, for this show today, the blade multi game 22 95, which includes shipping and taxes. And it's all set up for free play. So, uh, if you guys are interested in a blade cabinet, I know early in the show, we talked kind of about what games, uh, are available on it. If you're interested in that deal, 
uh, give this number a text, give them a call, and uh, they can shoot you over some pictures and stuff like that of those games. And let's see here. Uh, shipping to Alabama. Um, do you do you ship to Alabama or? If it's free play. If it's free play. Yeah. Yeah. If so play. if it's set up for free play, which the Blade Most... Cabinet would be set up for free play. Mm-hmm. But we can, uh, you guys can also set up any any cabinet for free play, pretty much, right? I think, I think so. I don't think I don't think we can do every the every machines yet. Okay, but I could be wrong. I, I had to. I don't. I could be wrong, but I'm. We just got Aristocrat down. Um, Konami, obviously, IGT Valley. Uh, it might every might be the only one that we can't. Okay, could be wrong though. All right. Well, now now we know about about that. Every is difficult with uh, with setting that up. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, let's uh, let's go ahead and um, we can uh, we can go ahead and I, I guess uh, round out the show. And Kevin, uh, Kevin, also uh, thank you for putting that in there, Kevin. We do have a whole buyer's guide on our website, so if you are interested in purchasing a slot machine from Slot Machines Unlimited, you can also check out our buyer's guide on our website, which is ropethejackpot.com. We do also have all of their information on there. Um, and again, I'll put this number up on the screen. So if you, if there is a particular machine that you're looking for, because they're, you, Slot Machines Unlimited has a huge warehouse, massive amounts of games, all different types. So if you're looking for a game in particular that you'd like to purchase for the house, um, give this number a text, give them a call so they can look it up and see if they've got it and how much it would be and hopefully work out a really good deal. Um, any uh, any closing uh, closing things that you wanted to add in there, uh, Chris? No, you know, not 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 too much. I appreciate everybody getting on, uh, on on a Friday night, and we'll continue to do this every few weeks. And and uh, Brantley and I have talked about some other things that might be kind of surprising. Hopefully, we can do some behind the scenes stuff because I'm able to It'll travel cool. a lot of a lot of casinos, go underneath. You know, like El Cortez, I can go underground in the El Cortez. I was just at Fremont. It's uh, down below. It's different things that you guys would never even, never even think about that I, that unfortunately I'm blessed enough to be able to see some of that stuff. So, um, just, just different. There's just a, there's a lot to it that goes behind the scenes rather than just, you know, put your money in a slot machine. Oh, and yeah. And going from there. So, you know, maybe we can even do when we, when we buy games from a, from, from a casino, we could do some sort of live where you can see it being loaded on the trucks and see what they look like. I mean, sometimes, I mean, sometimes these machines, I have a triple top dollar gamble smart. Uh, sometimes yeah. these machines, <laughs> uh, they come in, you guys wouldn't even believe it. I mean, I've seen, I've, I've, I've had dead, I've had rats nest. I've had snakes. Now nobody wants to buy them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I've, had, I've had snake skins in them before from machines from Louisiana. Um, this is obviously very, very, very rare, but uh, most of the time, some of the, most of the casinos take really, really good care of the machines, but they'll, you know, there's bad parts in them too. So, yeah. you know, the, the other thing is, is when I sell machines, parts complete as is, which I, I honestly, I hate doing that. Um, base is you sell the machines for a lot cheaper. And then, well, my board doesn't work. Well, that's how I got it from the casino. You know what it's, you know what it yeah. is. You know, it's, it's, Bug me if there's a major problem, like if I forgot parts, but I don't want to hear about it if it's missing a wire. But it's hard. To, it's also hard yeah. to, to like kind of throw that at the at the customer, right? Well, but I don't know. So I don't know how we got to that point, but uh, but yeah, we really looking to take this to a to another level eventually. Once I get more Im- immaculated to this, used to it, better with the technology, because I'm not good with technology, and I can figure out how to do this more on the travel because. Like my brother next week, he's going to Colombia to a gaming show. We could take you inside the casinos of Colombia. We could take you inside the casinos of the Philippines. Um, just crazy, crazy, crazy stuff that that we that we get into that we that we see, um, and, and you can see what these other casinos are like in other countries. It's not like it is here in the states. It's it's completely awesome. different. So we'll get to that point at some point. I know we will. And th- this is uh, this is I I know this is Mark in there. Is it? <laughs> where can you find a trip? Where where's Mark's triple top dollar? I can I, send I, him a I, picture of it. He's just gonna have to wire me ten thousand dollars, and it's his. There you go. Hey, somebody guessed it right. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, I mean, hey, there there's a price now on it. I don't I don't know. I'll sell it for ten grand. I won't put it in my basement. There you go. It's it, yeah. Well, I I don't know. I mean, a triple top dollar. My gosh. 
So is I've that never the even first played one that. you've is that never, so that's the first one you've even ever got? The first I mean, one I've ever got. And I got the and I got the dub uh the top dollar deluxe on the same load from MG wow. and Grand. And guess what? Neither one of them had a VFD. Imagine oh, that. Of, of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but all right. Well, we'll go ahead. Uh, we will round out the we will round out the show here again, guys. This was Chris from Slot Machines Unlimited. Uh, give him a call. Give him a text. Uh, that's uh, Avery's number. Uh, mm-hmm. So Avery's number. If help, you the, help the young kid out. He's he's doing yeah. he's doing good. He's nineteen and he actually works. It's hard to find people that want to work, especially at his age. So let's let him make some commission. A little bit of commission on the side. There you go. You know? He's trying to get but a yeah. new car. Tons, tons of machines, tons of machines available. So uh, be sure uh, text over, uh, you know, any games that you're looking for that you'd like to buy. Uh, of course, I'll see if it's available um, and can get you a price quote on shipping and all of that. But uh, Chris, thank you so much for joining us tonight. I really do appreciate it. Uh, and again, this was Chris from Slot Machines Unlimited. Be sure to also check out our website, ropethejackpot.com. We do have that slot buyer's guide on there if you guys want some more information as well. So thank you all again for joining us this Friday night on this uh, pop-up live stream. We'll definitely do another one. Uh, really enjoy these. Um, love taking the questions about home slot machine ownership. It's a lot of really interesting stuff. And it's such a fun hobby to get into. So we appreciate each and every one of you being here. As always, best of luck, stay safe, and we'll see you again next episode. Take care, guys. Thank you.